Mm. Kid Rock knows what's really going on. Trump. You've seen Trump a lot recently. How's he doing? Toughest bitch on the earth. <laughs> he's, he's doing great. It's incredible. He's you know, we just got to spend some time times. with him. Yeah. But you seem to be having more fun than anybody in that. I was, having, I was having fun. You watched that video back and we're walking to the ring and everyone's looking all tough. You're like, ah! <laughs> You're like, this is the greatest day of my life. I loved it. Which was, that was so much fun. Like, it was amazing. I, I love spending time with him, getting to know him, you know, since he became president the first few months, having dinner um, at the White House with him. And from there on, we've just really hit it off. And, you know, I can relate to him in a lot of ways as somebody who might speak out of turn a little bit and yeah. <laughs> say what's on his mind. But, you know, I think if you look at his track record and who he is as a whole, there's a lot more good there than anything. I think people, you know, I could go both ways. I always say with me, you can go on the internet and you can make me out to be some crazy wild party animal who just has his middle fingers in the air and doesn't care. Or you can be someone who's a single father who loves his family, loves his country, does a lot of philanthropy. It's all there for the taking. And, you know, I try to see the good in people. I haven't always executed that correctly or, you know, on spot. <laughs> but, you know, whatever it is, when I give it, it's it's 100% real. Well, so without like betraying the details of your conversations, you've been with the with Trump um, a bunch of times since he got indicted, and the world mm-hmm. has kind of crashed in around him. How does he seem? Can't tell. Really? No. I mean, when we're golfing or we're hanging out in, in different scenarios here and there, it's um, his spirits are always up, and he's 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 always talking about this country. He's always talking about this country and how he wants to win for it. He likes to win at anything. Yeah, that's true. Anything. Well, we're golfing. Like, you know, I want 100 bucks from him at the UFC. <laughs> I don't think he was too happy about it. <laughs> but What'd you bet on? We were betting on fights. You know, we're just picking guys, you know, to make it more interesting. Yeah. And, um, man, somebody that's that's in that office, in any office, that wants to win for this country, I'm in. I've yeah. never seen anybody who wants to win for this country like that guy. And I don't think we'll ever see anything like it in our lifetime. To me, he's the greatest president we've had. And he's unaffected in your experience by everything that's happening. Oh, is he pissed off? Sure. Yeah, but he doesn't seem broken at all. I don't want to speak out of school, you know, but, uh, you know, yeah, who's not going to hem and haw a little bit about the, the people that are doing this to him? You know, these people in New York. It's a freaking joke. Yeah. I mean, one Google search on Zillow, property in Palm Beach. There's like a couple acres that comes up on the water. It's a, it's $200 million. Yeah. And they're like, Marlago is only worth $17 million. It's like, well, you are a stupid son if you say that. Yeah. You know, he gives out, he takes loans from the bank, whatever, he pays them all back, everybody makes money. There's no crime here. Yeah. I, I just, you know, they're just, it's it's completely, anybody who can't see their is just blinded. Yeah. I know the guy speaks out of turn a little bit, says some things. I can relate. Yes. <laughs> I, I do it myself, you know, quite often, because I'm, I just say what's on my mind, and I, I can get that, but... I don't know how you look at his track record and what he did and how he had this country fired on all cylinders when he was in office. Everybody working, you know, military is the strongest. He's leading with, you know, strength and uh, borders, you know, under control, just energy independent. You know, he could go on and on. I, I don't get it. You know, I understand because it seems like it's a lot of women, like, in my life and stuff. They're like, well, I don't like the way he talks. It's like, come on. You're not you're not putting him in the office to hear him talk nice. How many years have we had of that? There's a lot of guys. A lot of guys wanted. I'm not worried. Hold on. Come here, Greg. Don't be such a worried guy. Come on, 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 come
good versus evil, and I don't see how people don't see straight through the hot garbage that the Fannie Willis's of the world and many others are pushing out here on a daily basis. Take the blinders off, people. I mean, goodness gracious. I know common sense and discernment are very rare traits to possess, but come on now. Wake up and smell the deceitfulness because it's literally right there staring us in the face. What's really wild, though, is that it wasn't too long ago that these same loving liberals that say they hate Trump, they loved them some Trump action. They were staying at his hotels, the Trump Towers, featuring him in movies like Home Alone, rapping, singing about him in hit songs, wanting to be on his Apprentice TV show, you name it. What happened, though? Because the man hasn't changed. If you go back to his clips from the 1980s, he was still pro-America then. He was still calling out the wickedness in those interviews. He, the man is authentic and cons consistently been this way for decades. But all of a sudden, when he runs for office and has actual power to do things that these people can't and bring a positive change to the political landscape, oh, all of a sudden, then they want to change their tone and, and flip the script on how they feel towards him and, and get all sour and, and in their feelings and act like they didn't love the man. Man before what because he he has a, a role that he that he earned that that people supported and got behind now you want to act all fake and, and phony would you be saying nice things after all of that would you be able to still maintain a level of politeness and and civility towards people that used to adore you used to love you but all of a sudden now they decide you're a bad person now all you hear is that you're racist and that you hate women and, and yada 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 how would y'all respond to that if people just all of a sudden up and went phony on you? I mean, I wouldn't be saying probably nice things about them. I'd try not to get angry. I'd try not to get in my feelings, but we're human beings. You're going to feel some type of way and you're going to start calling people out on their BS when that is in fact the standard that they're living by is BS. I'm talking about these liberals that is. And they say he hates women, but in reality, he's been happily married to Melania for years. And I don't know all the intricate details and inner knowings of their relationship, but I mean, he's got a bunch of kids that are thriving in the world. All his, his Trump kids are successful from a business standpoint. They all support their father. They seem to love him no matter what people throw at the man. And you got a hundred plus million people that are rocking and rolling for you to win another four years. So I'd say at the end of the day, I don't think that Trump is all that bad like these people make it out to be because on the contrary, he's got a whole lot more support than he does hate. And I know the media might paint it a different way, but that's a lie. And if we're being completely honest and we're going to be blunt, I don't care about how someone talks. For the most part, I care about how they walk. I don't care about the delivery. I care about the substance. Do they just pop off at the mouth and and not ever actually follow up on the promises that they say they're going to execute on or do they actually deliver? And from all the things that I've seen, from all the stupidity and all the cattywampusness that I've seen play out, all the nonsense, that man, what he had to deal with while in office, I'd say that he came through big time for the red, white, and blue for you and for I. And are, are there things that I disagree with that he's done? Absolutely. There's things that I've said in videos that y'all don't like, but you still support me. You still show up, subscribe, like, subscribe, scroll through the comments, leave your opinion, and, and still come in day after day and watch my videos. There's always going to be something that you don't agree with, and that's okay. But for the overwhelming majority of things that Trump stands on, supports, and what he actually executed on as far as policies are concerned, how could you not support this man if you live in America? No matter how uppity or high and mighty or someone may think their stuff don't stink, None of us are perfect, and all of us need to repent and put our faith in Jesus Christ. And Trump may not be the best Christian example just yet, but I know he's trying to do what's best for all of us. And I know that God has and will continue to use Don to serve his purpose. And as far as presidential standards are concerned, it ain't even close. Like, Big 45 was the smartest businessman that we've ever had in the White House and would never sell us out to other countries. Can we say that about Biden, Obama? Clinton. I mean, you know, the answer to that made in America is what Trump stands on made in China or whoever's cutting the check is who all these other presidents are standing on. That's what they support. Not Donald, though. He's the only guy strong enough to fight back against this slimy corruption in the uniparty and to drain out the anti-American establishment. I truly believe that. And the love that Big Orange has for we the people in this nation is top tier next level. And that's why I'll continue to stand with him in 2020. 
2024, even if I got to write his name in on the ballot, that's my dude. And I'm not backing down from that. And y'all know that I got to wrap this all up because I get passionate and get into this political uh, landslide of rants and, and tangents. But I got to wrap this all up by dishing out some biblical soul food for us to keep our minds aligned with righteousness and centered on what's most important. And that's spreading the good news and, and serving God Almighty in the kingdom of heaven. So Daniel 2 verse 21 says he changes times and seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. Psalm 75 verse 6 to 8 says, for not from the east or from the west and not from the wilderness comes lifting up, but it is God who executes judgment, putting down one and lifting up another. For in the hand of the Lord, there is a cup with foaming wine, well mixed, and he pours out from it. And all the wicked of the earth shall drain it down to the dregs. Oh man, he got a lot of draining to do. People are circling it right now if they don't repent. And I pray for him. I love these people on the left and people that disagree with what has always been good. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. If you disagree with that, though, you, you got some uh, some waking up to do. Not wokeness. You, you got some real uh, confession and uh, repentance to reach so you can make things right before it's all said and done. But again, let me stop preaching and get back to the scripture. Psalm 95 verse 6 says, Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Amen. Not kneeling down for these woke rhetorics and, and, and narratives and all this propaganda, not for Black Lives Matter, not kneeling when the national anthem's going on, when people have sacrificed and died for our freedoms, kneeling for the Lord. That's the only thing and, and topic that you should kneel for is God Almighty, your creator, the, the maker of all things. He's great all the time. No matter what you perceive as evil and good, God is great all the time. It's men and women that make stupid, idiotic decisions and lean into sin. We need to run away Away from that and we need to pursue righteousness, pursue that narrow path and trust that no matter what craziness is going on all around us, that God Almighty is going to work it all out for those of us that love him with all your heart, soul and mind and focus on doing that and you'll be at peace until Jesus Christ returns someday. But what do y'all think about all this? I would love to hear it. Comment your thoughts down below. Let's keep this conversation rolling. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. If you like what I'm doing over here and you want to show a little extra love and support, make sure you go check out our website down below in the description section. That way you can get all the awesome shirts you see me wearing in every single video. They're all made by my beautiful wife. This one says created with a purpose. It has it on the chest and on the sleeve. It's based on Ephesians 2 verse 10. I like mine a little baggy so it's seems a little extra room to move and groove, but we got all different sizes ranging from itty bitty extra small to big, big and hefty 5X, a bunch of colors, different designs, all of that. I'm sure you could find something that you like or a great gift for someone that you love. Outside of that, you can always join the Gibson family here on YouTube and become a member. You can buy me a coffee. You can join the Patreon family. All those links are down below as well. By no means do you have to do any of that. Just showing up and allowing my freckle face to rant at you for a few minutes. I am greatly appreciative. I love y'all. I cannot thank Thank you enough. Until next time, I'll be praying for you. Godspeed. I'm gone.